Hi guys, this is the Tube Hearing Dice, also known as the Dice Prediction. We have uh, Christina here. How are you, Christina? Good. Christina, what I have here is I have two canisters and I have uh, one dice. What I want you to do, Christina, is I want you to pick any dice that you like, all right? And uh, you're going to choose a number from one to six and place that number into the canister face up. So, for example, if you choose the number six, you place it, you place it face up and you close the canister. I, do this, I'm, I want you to do this while my back is turned. And I want you to point to the camera the number that you choose. So if you choose five, just show five so that the camera knows what number you chose. Okay? So I'm going to turn away and place this into the small canister when I turn around. All right? And let me know when uh, to turn back around. Okay. All set? Mm -hmm. Okay. So, Christina, before I do anything, I don't want you to think I'm doing anything sneaky. There's no, there's no opening at the back of here. I can't see anything. There's nothing that I can see in the front either. Correct? Fair? Okay. What we're going to do is make this even more impossible. I'm going to cover this on top like so. And cover it into a bigger canister so there's no way that I can see through anything. All right? I want you to think of your number. You think of a number from one to six. Right? Okay. Concentrate on the number. I'm going to say the number was a number four. <laughs> four? Let's see. Let's see. Just make sure she was... Uh, not lying. The number four, you guys see that? That's the number four. And that is the dice prediction. Guys, this is the explanation for the tube hearing dice, also known as the dice prediction. What you get are is a set of tubes, some canisters, and one regular dice. What you're going to do is uh, have a the spectator choose a number from one to six and place, this, place it into the small canister. Now, you're probably wondering how I was able to attain the number, and it's very simple. What happens is Christina chooses a number from 1 to 6. I'm not going to look, just place the number from 1 to 6 into the canister. I'll look away. Okay? Just let the camera know what number you chose. Okay? Now, while she's doing this, I really can't see what number she's chosen. Uh, it doesn't matter to me at this point. All right? So as that, as that happens, it's she's, she's let the camera know, and I'm going to grab the, the, the canister. And I'm going to look at her in the eye, and I'm going to say, Christina... Is there any way that I could see through the canister? Um. Now, as I do that, I want you to see what I'm looking at. Okay? I don't know if you can get that, get that through in the camera, but basically, I can see through the top of the canister. Right? I can't see through it now, but when I lean the, 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 the dice against the, against the cap, you can see the numbers. This all happens through the guise of explaining to her that I can't see anything. All right, so what happens is she chooses the number, I pick it up, and I say, Christina, I can't see anything on the back of this dice, right? She goes, of course not. As I do that, I turn it over, I say, Christina, I can't see anything on the front of this dice either, right? And this is true. Either way, I can't see either, either way. Um, so now she's convinced that I don't know the number. But like I said, all I'm doing is I'm grabbing with my first and my thumb, I pick it up like I would normally pick up this canister, and I would tilt it this way. Now, you don't want to make a big action. You don't want to go... You know, make it, a, make it a point to do that because, exactly, you'll figure it out. Mm -hmm. Okay, it just needs to be nonchalant. Say, can you see anything there? And I'm almost looking at the corner of my eye at the, at the, at the, at the dice. All right? So, so whatever number you chose, so in this case, she chose three, so we'll have it number three up. Uh, I pick up the dice and I say, Did, can I see through the bottom of it? No. And as I do it, I'm already seeing the three. As soon as I get the number, I go back and I say, can you see the other side? Nothing there? She says, no. I place it down, and I say, perfect, we'll make it even more impossible. I'm going to cover this canister with a bigger canister. I just take the canister, I turn it mouth down, and I load that canister in there. This does absolutely nothing. I could wrap up this with in duct tape and, and put it in a safe, and I'll still be able to know the number. The reason why is because I've gotten the information beforehand. All right? This just makes the effect more difficult, or, or seem more difficult, because they don't understand how could you see through two objects. Right? So now I know the number, so at this point it's all acting and just playing along, and I say, think of the number, concentrate, you're thinking of the number three. She agrees, you open it up, you dump out the uh, con con contents, but first you show the number first, can you guys see that? Okay, you guys can see the number three, Proof, so it's proof to everyone, and you can dump it out and have her inspect everything. Okay, now she can inspect everything, but I would have her inspect everything separately, all right? I wouldn't, I wouldn't let her play with the dice and the cap, you know, and the, and the tube because I don't want her to accidentally go, oh, that's how you did it. That would have ruined the effect. 
So what I do is I'll give her the dice in the inside there, and I'll put it inside there. I say, look, take a look at that. Can you, is there any way I can see it? And there's no way. A nice thing about this effect as well is that it's repeatable. You can do it as many times as you want, and it'll still be difficult to figure out how the effect is done. That is the dice prediction.